Hey, good afternoon, everyone. We're back from Thanksgiving and ready to crank up the chart of the week. Hope everyone had a good weekend and a good holiday. Uh, we're going to focus in on an old friend of ours, which we did some while ago called Avago Technologies it's in the uh, chip and semiconductor area. But it seems to be looking like it's ready to break out over here. And of course, we, if you know, uh, if you didn't know, they're going to be buying Broadcom, which is another, another favorite of ours. I happen to like the chart of Avago Technologies. We'll be marking this one up as we go along now. We see the stock has risen to the 130 area, closed slightly above it on Monday, and it's been some resistance for the past couple of times it headed up here. We do have a gap that's ready to be, that needs to be filled right over here, which is slightly above where it is right now. And I suspect this gap is gonna get filled within the next couple of days. Of course, this, this is the third time it's tried to break out over here, and it's done so on some pretty decent volume. I like the, uh, we can see barely it's gone over, the previous highs from early November and in late October. We have a MACD buy signal that is still on. And again, I wanted to uh, alert you to the volume. We had some uh, pretty nice volume on the updates here. So we, after we made a, a, a low here in the middle of November, we climbed uh, well more than 15% up to this uh, 130 or so area, which has been a, a tough level to get through. So what makes me think that this, is, this time is the right one? Well, again, I like the fact that the, uh, the volume has been stronger. And we also have in place a higher low as well too on the chart. So while we could come back down and test this 50 day uh, moving average and the 200 day moving average, which are which have kind of uh, collided over here, it seems to me that this stock is probably gonna be heading upwards. Now, we have to be cautious as well too because there was some resistance around this uh, 135 or so level. The last time it, it broke down back in July, we can see that that's took it out and we went all the way down to this $100 level on that uh, flash crash day in uh, August. So we did have a gap over here that was filled and that's fine for that. We do, I do think that this gap is gonna get filled within the next couple of days. Uh, we do have really good relative strength and we, I like the slope on this uh, as well too. We are overbought on the momentum indicators as we, as we can see right there. So, you know, it could go either way, but I think that this thing has uh, legs here. And certainly if we can get past this 135 level, which is the resistance from the old high, it's got some higher prices to go. We are heading into uh, holiday season and the stocks that tend to do well are the ones that are attracting money flows. So if this one gets above this area over here, it's gonna attract some attention from the big institutions and we should see the stock start really uh, moving to the upside. All right. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching, and I will see you guys next time.